Hi, good evening, Conscious Creators. Welcome to 7 at 7 on Sunday evening. I'm Jean. I'm Jean Aaron and uh, Life Coach. And this is uh, your 7 minutes or 17 minutes of your mini life coaching session. Tonight we're going to talk about, um, hmm, we're going to talk about five reasons why you should take charge in charge of your life and you should not be so terribly concerned about what other people think about or feel about how you, how you, uh, what you, you well, shouldn't be worried about what their opinions are. Not so much. Okay. So tonight, um, that's what we're going to talk about. I uh, just kind of spent a few minutes talking about it. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Looks like it's getting beginning to get cloudy here in Marietta, Georgia. I hear it kind of rumbling out there. Must be getting ready to do a little storm. I don't know. But anyway, welcome tonight. Um, again, this is an opportunity to, for me to share um, kind of an overview of a, of a life coach session I may have had last week. Actually, I did not have uh, this particular one, but it kind of came up a few times in, in discussions and topics. So I thought I'd share some of the, um, I've, I've got five, five reasons why you shouldn't be worried about uh, what other people think about you uh, in the process of, you know, your decision making and what you decide and not decide about your particular life. So I've got five. I'm going to be real quick. The first one, the first reason you should not worry about what people think about you is that it's your life. You know, you, it's your life. You're living you. You're being you. And the other person is hopefully living their life. And, you know, you should not be, I mean, they have their thoughts about their life and you have your thoughts about yours. You're, like, you're walking in your shoes and they're walking in theirs. And it's kind of hard to really understand and know what a person, another person should do from their perspective because we only have, we only get one perspective and that perspective, perspective belongs to us. So you live your life, let them live theirs and don't be so concerned about what they, what they're, you know, don't, don't, don't react to it. Don't react to it. You may want to listen to them, just maybe, you know, hear them, hear them out. You know, they may be family or whoever or friends or spouses or bosses or whatever. But bottom line, it's your life. You get to live your truth. You get to, you get to depend on your intuition. You get to look through your eyes outside to the, to the world and no one else get that opportunity but you. So it's your life. Let you live your life and allow them to live theirs. And suggest that to them if you don't mind. Number two, other people really, really don't know what's best for you. You know, uh, especially when you're an adult, you know, when you're a child, when you're, you know, you're, you're a minor, you know, you get, you know, get the input of, of parents and, and teachers and those people who kind of help instruct us and, and direct our lives as young people. But as an adult, other people do not know what's best for you. You get to decide what's best for you. You. Other people don't know what you truly need. They don't know the depths of your soul. They don't know your relationship with your higher self and what your higher self and your intuition and your thoughts are. You know, they're not mind readers. So they don't know what's best for you. So you listen to you. You listen to your intuition. You let your heart speak to you. You let, you let your, you, you have a mind, a mind to think and a mind to use and you use that because nobody knows what's best for you but you. The third reason is other people's thoughts, other people's thoughts really carry baggage. When I'm talking about, when I'm looking out or observing uh, a, a, even one of my clients' lives and their situation, I can only relay back to them what they say to me. And I can't, I never ever, you know, come out and just give them a, 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 a give them, I don't even give them a section, you know, like a, a, an opinion in fact. I, I solicit their input and we kind of evaluate what, they, what they're thinking and their expressions and, and what their hearts and, and intuition and, and what their thoughts and opinions are and then we, then we go there, go, go for there. I don't try to give them my baggage because I may be, I may have gone through the sim, a similar situation, a very similar situation, but my going through it and their going through it are two different opportunities for, uh, you know, for error or for, uh, if, you know, f to, 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 to totally different, totally different. My perspective, their perspective. We share sometimes perspective, but bottom line is she gets to decide or he gets to decide and I just st stand alongside and be that accountability coach to see that they get through with whatever it is that they've decided to do. 
Okay. The fourth, that fourth thing, the fourth, fourth reason you should not be concerned or worried about what people think about you is that what's right for one person is not necessarily right for the, for the next person. Uh, something that may suit, you know, even someone in your family, your sister or your husband or your wife, may not be something that would be accommodating or, good for you or, or suitable for you. So every, every, every situation and, and result of a situation or an opinion or a conclusion of a situation is not necessarily for that, for the, you or the person. So many times other people share their, their thoughts, and that's okay, sharing. But when, they, when you're facing with whatever the situation is, bottom line, you're sharing. You are facing it. They're not facing it. You're facing it. So, you know, what you come up, your conclusion and your results and your, your final decision and f final thoughts on the matter is really what matters because you are the one that's got to walk through that solution and that situation yourself and not the other person. And the fifth reason, basically, you're not a mind reader. You're not a mind reader and neither are they. Nobody reads anybody's mind, okay? We look, we look and evaluate your life and your situation, but we can't read your mind. You can tell me what, you can say one thing and you can think another thing, you know? So, you know, you only, you only know what you know and you only understand what you understand. You know your truth, you live your truth, you have the relationship, you have your own personal relationship with your higher self, you have your own tu intuition, I can't, I, I have no part of that. You live your personal, your personal truth. And no one, no one can read another person's mind. So number one, first thing you have to understand is it's your life. You live your life. You walk in your life. You make your decisions. It's your life. It's not somebody else's. So don't relegate or, or, or give away your power to someone else. The other person does not know what's best for you. Only you know what's best for you. Because you are the one that's, you're responsible. You're bottom line responsible. It's your life, you're responsible, you know what you, what's best for you. The other person's opinions or their thoughts carry baggage. Their baggage, not your baggage. You have your own baggage to carry. But their thoughts and their opinions carry baggage with it. And you do not, honestly, I can't see, I don't, I don't, I don't think we would want to carry uh, another person, drag another person's baggage when we're trying to deload ourselves. So number three was other, other people's thoughts and opinions carry baggage. The, and number four was that nobody knows, I mean, that's only, only, you know what's right for you. And what's right for you is right for you. It's not necessarily right for me or for the other person or whoever. So you know what's right for you. You accept what's right for you and you walk what's right for you and let the other person do their thing, right or wrong or whatever. And the last thing is that you're not a mind reader. You're not a mind reader and you don't lend yourself to, to, for your mind to be read. Uh, you, you, we speak our truth most, mostly, most of the time. And sometimes we speak our truth, but our beliefs are totally different. So, you know, so I wouldn't even go there. I would not even go there thinking that you can think for another person or you can read their minds. So those are the five reasons that you should not be worried, absolutely not worried about what another person thinks about you, your decisions, they're yours. You guys have a great week and hopefully I will see you on Thursday for the Conscious Creators Toolbox. And until next Sunday for seven at seven, have a one rest of the, rest of the Sunday, enjoy it. And we will talk, talk to you later. God bless and I love you.